Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have another Lightroom tip for you. So in this video what I'm going to do is show you how to remove noise from the shadow areas of your image without affecting the highlights. So why would you want to do this? Well, sometimes if you say for example have an underexposed image that you've brought the exposure back up in post, you might end up with a lot of noise in the shadow areas. And sometimes it can just happen depending on the type of camera you have, the ISO you shoot at and so on. Sometimes what you will find is there can be quite a lot of noise in the shadows, but if you apply an overall level of noise reduction, you end up reducing some of the detail in the midtones and the highlights where there's less noise. So to correct for this, what we can actually do is apply noise reduction and use a luminance mask to just limit that to the shadow areas. So this is a fairly geeky thing to have to do. So if you're a beginner and you think this is too advanced, don't worry about it, move on to the next video. Um, however, if you're preparing images for clients or for print and you want to kind of eke the most amount of detail and the best amount of noise reduction and have your image looking the best as possible, then this is kind of an advanced level technique that you can apply. It's actually fairly straightforward. You used to have to go to Photoshop to do this, but a few versions ago they added luminance masking into Lightroom and they've actually made this much easier. So let me show you what to do. It's actually really straightforward um, and uh, let me just dive right in. So I've chosen an image here that illustrates this point. So if I zoom in here, you can see overall the levels of noise are actually pretty okay, but here on kind of the stone, texture and kind of under here in the dark areas of the image there is quite a lot of noise that we want to reduce. Now I can just do an overall level of noise reduction so if I scroll down here in my develop module and just apply some noise reduction you can see that gets rid of most of the noise however we're actually softening all the detail here in these big posters so if I turn that back down you can see that's kind of the detail that we're losing. So we can get around this problem by limiting our noise reduction to just the shadow areas. So to do this, we're going to use some of Lightroom's selective editing tools. Now, previously you would have to go to Photoshop to do this, um, but a few versions ago they added luminance masking in addition to the selective editing tools. So to use luminance masking, we first have to create a mask. Um, and you can use any of these tools, but in this case, I'm just going to use the brush tool. So what you want to do is kind of paint over the areas that you want to apply the noise reduction to. You can actually paint over the entire image if you want to. Um, so if you just set like a really big brush and you can just drag across like this. Okay, and then if I hover over here, over the little pin, you can see that I've applied a mask to the entire image. Um, unfortunately, there's no easier way to do that in Lightroom at the moment. Um, but I'm not going to do that because because we have such a defined area in this image, I'm just going to paint over the area that we need. So I'm just going to literally paint over the areas of the buildings like this. And then if I hover over here, you can see that there's our mask. Now, because we are going to be using luminance masking, um, we just need a rough area. It doesn't have to be precise. So you don't need to go in and paint individual details. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to zoom in. Okay, so the reason that we're zooming in is we want to be able to see the noise reduction properly. And if you're zoomed out, uh, you're not actually going to be able to see it. So before somebody complains about pixel peeping, you actually have to do this because otherwise Lightroom won't render it properly. Okay, so what we want to do next is on our selective editing controls, if you look, you will see a noise slider and we want to just turn this up and turn it up until, well, we've pretty much got rid of the noise. Okay, so that's the first step. So now what we want to do is limit that noise reduction to the shadow areas. And to do that, at the bottom of this panel, you will see an option called Range Mask. So in here, we want to set this to Luminance. And this now gives us another slider. So what we can do is, what we need to do is limit it to the shadow areas. So start by dragging down the top widget, and we want to go to somewhere about 50%. Now you can actually go show luminance mask and this will show you the areas that is is fixing. So we can bring this down. Okay, so as you can see, this is keeping kind of the dark areas here, but we're bringing back some of the detail here. And if I turn off show luminance mask, 
you can see that's having an effect. So what we're doing is we're, we're fixing the kind of dark areas here, um, but we're keeping detail in the midtones and highlights. So you can actually also use the smoothness control and this will basically blur the mask. So if we increase this, uh, it will give us kind of a better fall off. Now you can use the button at the bottom of the um, selective adjustment panels to do toggle before and after. So if I toggle this off, you can see we're getting quite rid of quite a good bit of the noise and we're retaining a good bit of the detail here in the posters. We are still losing some of the no grain in this, but most of this is noise and we are retaining a lot of the detail. Now, because we're using selective editing tools, if you wanted, you can actually just go in and paint these out. And if you hold down the Alt or Option key, I can just literally paint this out. I can paint it out here too. We don't even need to do this on this because... Okay, so there you have it. Now you can continue to play around with the mask until you get it to exactly where you want it to. Um, and again, by doing this, we're retaining the detail in the midtones and highlights, as you can see here. So we haven't lost any detail here, but we have actually got rid of most of the noise down here in the shadow areas. And if I just turn off the brush tool now, I get back and I can zoom back out and there we have our image. So there you have it, a really quick but somewhat nerdy <laughs> Lightroom tip for you on how to reduce shadow noise in your image without having to go to any other software. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please give this video a like, uh, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out my Patreon feed. And thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next video. Thanks a million.